This is a Vortex RLT 500 roof rack system training video. In this video I will show you how to fit this roof rack onto a Holden Colorado crew cab. First you will need two Vortex crossbar, part number VA126B, a set of RTS 527 tracks, two RLT 500 leg kits, and two VA FK2 fit kits. Please check the fitting instruction part list to make sure you have all the components. The track extrusions are left and right handed with a large cutout at the rear and can be identified by a high side of the track having a foam strip facing the outside of the vehicle. Note, we recommend you completely install one track at a time. Measure 230 millimeters from the center of the ditch mold only and measure from the steel body edge, not the glass edge. Mark the position with masking tape. Note, do not measure from the edge of the black mold. Drill three holes, three millimeters in diameter through the trim at the four marked locations. As the trim has a steel backing, do not drill into the roof. Using masking tape on the car roof and to cover the flat screwdriver to protect the paintwork. Using the screwdriver, lever up the center of the track and cut the middle with tin snips. Then use your thumb to support the trim at the previously drilled holes while bending back and forth to break it. You can either use two people in the next step, one to drill the hole and the other to hold the track in place or you can position the track in place by inserting one M8 screw into each end of the track on the roof. If the roof panel overlaps the hole and impedes the accessing the thread, carefully file the roof panel to make a clearance for inserting the M8 bolt. Once the track is firmly positioned, you can spot drill the three holes on each side. Remove the track and all three holes can now be drilled through. A drill stop must be used to prevent drilling through the hood lining on the inside of the vehicle. Make sure when you're drilling you hold the drill perpendicular to the roof. The roof skin is approximately 2 to 3 millimeters thick. Use a vacuum to remove the swarf to eliminate scratching. Always vacuum swarf. Never blow swarf away with an air gun as it will cause rust. Apply a liberal amount of cold galvanizing solution to the inside and surrounds of all holes. Allow the cold galvanizing solution to dry as per instructions. 5 to 10 minutes in hot dry weather, longer in cold wet weather. Apply a liberal amount of Shelley's butyl mastic in and around each hole, including the threaded M8 inserts. This is an important step for waterproofing the roof area. Peel the white backing strip off the track foam tape, then position the track on the roof. Insert the end caps at the end of each track and ensure that the profile of the end cap matches the ends as shown. Insert the M8 screws in each end of the track and tighten the tracks down. The M8 flat washers are not used at the ends where the end caps are. Line up and place all three rivets in their respective holes. Then rivet the track into place following the numerical riveting order. Now that the tracks are in place, it's time to put on the roof racks. Locate the dowel nut into the aluminium housing and slide into the track. Place the base pad and the top pad onto the top of the dowel nut. For easy access, press here and tear back to open the Vortex crossbar box. Remove the end caps, VGS label, remove the VGS buffer strips and measurement strips from inside the crossbar. Then insert the VGS buffer strips into the top of the crossbar. Remove the existing nuts and bolts from the legs. Put the bolt and flat washer from the VAFK2 kit into the bottom of the leg. Then put the adapter plate on top of the legs and fit the nut loosely. Repeat this process for the remaining legs. Insert the legs into the crossbar. Finger tighten at this stage. Repeat this process for the remaining legs. Place the crossbars on top of the pads. Make sure the crossbars are parallel across the vehicle by measuring equal distance from the front of the track to the front crossbar. Then measure equal distance from the front crossbar to the rear crossbar on both sides. Then tighten the legs into place to 15 to 16 newton meters using the supplied Allen key. Adjust the crossbar overhang to be equal on both sides. Once adjusted, tighten the crossbar bolts to 15 to 16 newton meters. Accurately cut the measurement strips to length and slide into each crossbar. Slide the remaining measurement strip into the end of the crossbar and cut off flush. Tap the end cap into place and repeat for the remaining end caps. The Holden Colorado Vortex RLT500 roof rack system is now ready for use. 